Good morning, everybody. Welcome to your morning fascial warm up flow. So, before I get into what the fascia is, I want you all to grab a big glass of water and drink it with me before we get started. And I'll explain why in a second, but I'm serious. I'm looking at you, I'll wait. Go get yourself some water, stay hydrated. So, what is the fascia? If you've never heard of it, just a little brief overview is that our fascia is this thin layer of connective tissue that literally wraps around our entire body. It surrounds every organ, every muscle, every bone, and it gives our body that structure and support and really holds everything together. So before dancing, we really wanna take time to consciously wake up and open up the fascia because it wraps around every fiber of our muscles. So if we want in class our muscles to be able to stretch and open in a safe way, we need the fascia that surrounds it to be open and able to move as well so that we can really reach our full range and our highest potential as we walk into the studio. So the fascia needs to be hydrated. You can think about it like a sponge, okay? So if it's dry, it's gonna be more stiff and tight and rigid. But once you saturate that sponge in water and get hydrated, looking at you, if you haven't grabbed yourself some water yet, if you're hydrated, it will be able to be more fluid, to open and to move with more ease. And then that, um, combined with a really deep, conscious, full, expansive breath will also help tap into our nervous system because our fascia really is like a second nervous system permeating every part of the body and it signals back to our brain how everything is feeling more than the muscles do. So we really wanna be in a parasympathetic state where we're breathing deeply and fully, we're relaxed, we're in that rest, digest, heal, rejuvenating state rather than like shallow, short breaths that are gonna keep us kind of tense and tight. And then that um, also combined with moves that are gonna channel and target different lines of fascia in the body are just gonna leave you feeling super energized and awake and really tapped into your body so that you'll just be ready to go once you get into class. As dancers, you know, we've always been told we need to warm up our muscles before class, all of that. But really what we need to be doing is waking up the fascia because that's what surrounds all the muscles in the first place. So how can the muscles move and expand and be at their full range if literally the, t the connective tissue that is holding our whole body together is tight and stiff? So with that said, grab your water, have it nearby. Mm. And then you will just need some sort of ball. Some I have like a nice spiky, rolly kind of acupressure ball, but you could use a tennis ball or just anything you have to roll our feet on. So grab your water. Mm. Come onto your mat. And first of all, place your ball down. And let's just take one deep breath together really tapping in. The breath is almost gonna be more important than the moves that we're doing in this class today. We want our breath to feel as expansive as possible, almost like when you inhale, you're getting a stretch even there. The ribs are expanding, the diaphragm is expanding, you're filling up your whole body with air. And exhale, releasing any tension. So coming to stand on your mat, feet right underneath the hips, toes spread on the floor. Let's first tense everything up. So clench all your muscles, your fists, your legs, your butt, your core, your chest, your arms, your neck, everything. Just squeeze, squeeze, squeeze as tight as you can. Exhale, let it all go. Flop around. One more time, squeezing, drawing everything in together, tight, tight, tight. Your feet, your calves, your ankles, your legs, everything. <sighs> Let it all go. So that was just to make sure that we're not holding on to any unnecessary tension. 
And then we'll just start by rolling out the feet. So take your ball, just begin to warm up that bottom of your foot. There's so much fascia and connective tissue in the sole of our foot, as well as all of these powerful nerve endings that weave up through our body to the rest of our organs. So this is just, if you have time for nothing else in your morning, at least roll out your feet. Wake up the bottom of your feet, get that connection, that grounding into the earth really alive and awake. And this will just help us have better awareness of what's going on throughout our entire body just by tuning in with the feet. Because the also amazing thing about fascia is that everything is connected. As you'll see in some of the stretches we're about to do, like you're gonna be feeling it all over your body because everything is connected. It goes you know, across the body, around the back, everything's connected. So starting with the feet is a good place to get into it. Rolling out that right foot, getting in the arch. Making sure your shoulders are nice and relaxed, jaws relaxed, just coming into the present moment. Oh yeah, giving that foot some love, some gratitude. And then switch sides, planting that right foot on the floor, spreading your toes. And before you jump on to that other foot, see if you notice a difference between your two feet, the one that we've rolled out and the one that we haven't. I find that my right foot is a lot more supple. It's more relaxed. It can melt and ground into the floor a little easier. So getting into that left foot now, rolling out the ball, the arch, getting on the ankle. Breathing deep. See if you can send your breath all the way down to the soles of your feet. Beautiful, all right. Setting your ball to the side now. Take a drink of water. Mm. Okay, this is my favorite thing to do every morning. This is seriously what I do when I first wake up. It feels so good to open up all the different sides of the body. So we have our front line coming to face the front of your mat. You're gonna squeeze your glutes, really strong legs, lifting up and out of the pelvis, lengthen your spine, reach your hands up, flex the fingers and reach them behind you. Arching open, letting the head drop back, opening up through the throat. Inhale deeply. Exhale, bring your hands to the back of your head, tuck your chin to your chest, and begin to roll down one vertebra at a time, coming into a forward fold, really pulling that head in towards the body, and then releasing at the bottom. Pulling the core in to your spine as you roll up one vertebra at a time, and squeezing the glutes, reaching up, flexing those hands back, opening up that front body. Taking a deep inhale as full as you can. And exhale, hands behind your head, tucking the chin to your chest, really curling down like you could just spiral into yourself, rolling down. Gently bending your knees if you'd like. And then pulling the core in to support your spine as you roll back up one more time, reaching those arms up, squeezing the glutes so you can really have that support in your low back to the arch. Exhale, let it go, curling inward as you move down. Relaxing your shoulders, relaxing the back of your neck. If you're doing this first thing in the morning, you might find that you're really tight through your back body. It might even feel like a weird kind of icy hot tingly sensation down the back of your spine. And that is your fascia awakening. Beautiful, release your hands to the floor. You're gonna plant your right hand on the ground, bend the right knee, straighten the left, and twist to the side, lengthening the crown of the head and tailbone away from each other, reaching that left hand straight up, 
reaching, reaching with the fingertips. Taking a deep inhale here, filling up your entire belly. Exhale, sigh it out through the mouth. Inhale deeply. Feel that expansive quality. Exhale, release the hand. Switching sides. Oh my gosh. Planting the left hand, straighten the right knee, bend the left and twisting open, finding that length from your tailbone to the crown of the head, reaching away from each other. Fingertips reaching up towards the ceiling, getting that opening through the outer right leg. Inhale deeply. Exhale, let it go. Exhale, release that hand down. Beautiful, walking your hands out now. Coming onto your knees. Just gonna move through a couple cat cows here. So this is your opportunity to close your eyes, really go within and feel the subtle opening. The fascia, if you've never connected with it before, it's a very subtle sensation sometimes. So, starting with cat, drop the belly, shine the heart forward, reach the crown of the head up towards the ceiling. Inhale fully. Exhale, pull your belly into your spine. Contract chin to chest. Beautiful. Inhale, drop the belly. Feel that opening through the front. Exhale, tuck your chin to your chest. One more time. Inhale. Exhale fully. You're gonna circle the hips, inhaling to the right, coming forward through cobra, exhaling left and back through child's pose, making this big circle in the hips. You can really get organic with your movement here, just finding what feels good. Waking up the spine. And switching directions, making sure that the breath is what is moving you is initiating movement. Beautiful, coming to a neutral tabletop from here. You're gonna tuck your toes and just walk your hands back so that you're sitting right on your heels. Yeah, getting a nice opening through the soles of the feet here. If this is a little too much, you can always just come lean forward. Come to face y'all, but just taking a few moments here to breathe. You can let your hands rest on your quads, closing your eyes, relaxing your shoulders, tall spine. And imagine that you could draw your breath in through the soles of your feet and draw it up through your legs, up to your body. Breathing in and out through the nose. Bringing your awareness to the soles of your feet. Beautiful, walking your hands forward, untucking those toes and just coming to sit on your heels. Okay, we're really gonna get into our intuitive breath body awareness center here by doing Nadi Shodhana, one of my favorite breaths. It's really great to unite the two hemispheres of our brain so that they're firing in sync so that we can really be aware of what's going on inside of our body. So what you're gonna do is taking your right hand, make like an L shape, and taking the right thumb, you're gonna rest it on the right nostril, taking your index and middle finger, placing it right between your brow and your third eye center with just a little pressure, a little acupressure stimulation there. And then taking your left, or you're not left, your ring finger to your left nostril. And what you're gonna do is inhale, Exhale, closing off the right, exhale, left. Inhaling left, drawing that breath into the third eye center. Closing off the left, exhale, right. Inhale, right. Exhale, left. Inhale. 
inhale left exhale right inhale right exhale left inwards to the sensation of sensation of your body sensation of your breath inhale left exhale right inhale right exhale left continuing this breath on your own breath rhythm you need to exhale release your hand down and exhale through both nostrils gently opening your eyes staying seated you're gonna drop your head over to the left bring your left hand to the right side of your face just letting gravity and the weight of your hand do the work here and with your right hand you're gonna reach out at a diagonal towards the floor reaching those fingertips reach 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 and then f rotate your arm to flip the palm of your hand facing the front. And from there, flex the hand backwards, reach the fingertips behind. Ooh, yes, feeling that whole opening through that inside line of the arm. Breathing fully into that right side. Beautiful, releasing that left arm, taking that right arm up and over, sinking your hips over to the right, getting this whole beautiful arc, the side fascia, breathing into your right rib cage. Exhale back to center, dropping your head over to the other side, take your right hand to the left side of your face, letting everything relax and reaching your left fingertips to the diagonal, reaching towards the floor, reach, 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 lengthening out from that shoulder socket. And then rotating the arm, face the palm forward, flex the hand, reach the fingers back. Oh my gosh, it is whew, intense. Energy through the fingers, really strong in that reach. Beautiful. Exhale, sinking your hips over to the left. Reach that left arm over to the right, getting that arc, breathing into the space between the left ribs. And releasing, coming back to the center. Beautiful. Just take one big head circle. Beautiful. All right, coming on to all fours now. All right, lifting the hips up dog shake out your head no when you get there take a few moments to walk out through the feet make sure my mic's on okay and then from here you're gonna lift the right the sorry left leg up to the ceiling with a nice big stretch you can open up through the hips but keep your shoulders square just reaching the left toes up and away from the body pressing into the floor through each and every fingertip to lift you up and away bend that left knee and let the right let the foot drop over to the right so we're really getting that opening through the front of the hip and then keeping your 
your shoulders squared, not letting them open, keeping them squared. Look under your left armpit. So we're getting this opening through the left front of the hip. Inhale. And exhale, step that foot in between your hands. Drop that back knee down, coming into a low lunge, making sure that this knee is right over the ankle. Squeezing the right butt cheek, make sure that it is tight, it is active. Place your left hand on the thigh, reach that right arm up, and again, getting that flex in the hand. So opening this whole frontal line through the hip flexor, everything. Squeezing glute, lifting up through the spine to get that length, and then arching back. Inhale. Exhale, release. Exhale, release those hands down walking your foot to the outside of your mat now. I like to have my toes off and my heel on. But listen to your body, see what feels good for you and your hips today. And then taking a twisted lizard to really, again, get this cross body line of fascia by bending that right knee, reaching the left arm around and back, poking that foot either in your elbow or holding on with your hand. Inhaling, pressing into the floor through that right arm to lift up and out of the shoulder socket here. Lengthen the spine, looking over your shoulder. Taking a deep, full breath here. Feel that expansive quality. Exhale, soften. Inhale. Exhale, soften. Release that twist, bring that hand back to the front. You're gonna walk that foot in so it's in between your hands. Untuck that, or unlift, <laughs> lift that knee up. Drawing the inner thighs together, left hip back, right hip forward. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze your thighs to protect your low back. Energy shooting out through that back ankle, core in as you lift the arms up, shoulders down, coming into a nice high lunge on squaring off your hips here and then reaching that ankle back inhaling deeply exhale side out really sinking low through that lunge exhale release your hands behind it interlace them behind your back drawing them down opening up through the heart and then pivoting your back foot so that it's all the way on the ground at a 45 degree angle drop your torso and arms forward to open up through the back of the shoulders. Sinking low in that left hip. Squeeze your left glute to support you. Shake your head now. Release any tension in the back of your neck. And breathe. Beautiful. Releasing that left hand to the ground. Straightening that front leg, but not locking into the knee. Reach that right arm up for triangle. It's really opening across the front of the chest here, opening up through the collarbones. Length from the tailbone and the crown of the head, reaching apart from each other, core drawn in. Spreading your toes on the mat, grounding down through that big toe and little toe. Taking a deep breath here, inhale. Exhale, let it go. Nice, full, deep breaths, drawing in all of that fresh oxygen. Beautiful, you're gonna lift up and take a twist, switching hands, placing your right hand on the floor, left hand up for a revolved triangle. And then from here, taking that left hip and pressing it back. It's really easy for it to come forward. Try and draw it back, even here, trying to square off those hips. Grounding down through the outer edge of that right foot. And inhale, finding length in the spine to create lots of space for a full breath. Beautiful, releasing that left hand down, bringing that back foot parallel and mounting over the front leg for pyramid here. Just staying mindful that you're not locking into that front knee. Have a little tiny micro bend. 
No need to strain that joint. Beautiful, planting your hands, step back to a downward facing dog, walking it out, shake your head no. And then inhale, lifting the right leg up to the ceiling, getting that nice long stretch like someone's holding onto your toe and reaching it, pulling it up out of the hip socket. Keeping your shoulders square, look under your right armpit and bend that right knee to let that foot fall towards the left side to get this opening through the front of the right hip. Keeping those shoulders square. Energy pressing down into the floor through your hands. Activating your whole hand so all your weight isn't just falling into your wrists. And then exhale, step that right foot in between your hands, lowering down onto your knee. Finding that nice 90 degree angle with your legs, squaring off the hips, draw the right hip back. Left hip forward, squeezing that right or left glute, and then reaching the left hand up and away, finding length in the spine, lifting out of the pelvis, flexing that hand, squeeze the glute, draw the inner thighs together, and breathe, releasing the shoulders away from the ears. Beautiful, exhaling, coming down, bring your hands to the inside of your legs and heel toe walk that left leg out as far as you'd like today. And then taking that twist, bend through the back knee, reaching around, staying lifted up and out of that left shoulder socket. And breathe as fully and deeply as you can here. Try to send your breath to every corner of your body. Beautiful, gently releasing, bringing your hand back. Walk that foot in, tuck the back toe, knee off. Energy shooting out through that back ankle, drawing your inner thighs together, right hip back, left hip forward, glutes on, core in, arms up, inhale. Sinking nice and low into that lunge, really strong here, drawing the inner thighs together. Relax the shoulders down, crown of the head drawing up towards the ceiling. Exhale, hands behind you, interlacing the fingers and drawing down, opening through the heart. <sighs> Inhaling, and then with an exhale, pivot that back foot out to release forward, letting your hands fall forward. Your head up, sinking low through those hips. Breathing deep. And then opening up into triangle pose, placing that right hand on the ground, left arm drawing up, pulling the core in, lengthen the spine, grounding down through big toe and little toe and lifting up through the arch of the foot. Staying mindful to not be locking into that front knee. With all those cues in place, take a deep, full breath. Beautiful, lifting up off that right hand and taking a twist, switching hands. Take that right hip if it's really forward and square it off by pressing it back. Beautiful, wherever you are, just breathing deeply. Closing your eyes, let it be an inward sensation. Exhale, releasing that hand down, bringing that back foot parallel, release over the front leg for pyramid. Making sure your jaw and neck and shoulders are relaxed. Tiny micro bend in the front knee. your hands, stepping back into a downward facing dog, shake your head out no, and then you're going to look towards your hands, bend your knees, step or hop to 
the front and rolling up. All right, I'll come to face you guys, but turning your legs out kind of at a 45 degree angle. You're gonna inhale, reaching the arms up. And exhale, sinking low through the hips, coming into a Malasana a yogi squat here. So you're using your elbows to press your knees open, palms pressing together, long spine shining the heart forward. Taking a breath here, letting those hips open. And then exhale, drop your head down, reach your hands to the back of your head right where your neck and head connect and drawing down towards the floor, curling in as much as you can, trying to connect the crown of your head with your tailbone. Letting that head drop heavy towards the floor, relax your shoulders. Coming back up, finding that length in the spine, pressing the knees open. And exhale, curve inwards, bringing your hands to the back of the neck. Dropping down, find that curve in the spine. Beautiful, inhale, rolling up. and then standing up nice and strong and releasing down facing the front of your mat again taking a forward fold and step back into a downward facing dog from here inhale lifting the left leg high and exhale step that foot through into a pigeon pose lowering the hips down Sitting up nice and tall, giving your hips a second to settle into the pose and then finding as much length in the spine, reaching up out of the pelvis as you lengthen forward, forward, find length all the way down to the floor. Making a little pillow out of your hands, just resting gently, letting the fascia surrounding your hips open. Breathing deep into your belly, let it expand as you inhale and contract as you exhale. This kind of belly breath also gives the fascia and your digestive organs in your belly a little massage, which will help wake them up. So good to do in the morning. up and bring that foot out to the side for a half frog so that knee is really open to the side and then just coming back down onto your hands again this is a being pose rather than a doing pose so all is that is required of you is to relax to let the fascia surrounding those hips open up to relax wherever you can softening with every exhale Inhaling, pressing up. You're gonna tuck your back toe, lift up, straighten that left leg, and sink your hips back towards your heels. Yeah, so we came, we're here now. We were here, pressing back, melting your crown of the head, your third eye, and your heart towards the floor, getting a nice stretch into that inner thigh. Coming forward, lifting up into a downward facing dog. We'll all meet in a downward dog. Shake your head out, no, when you get there. Walk out through the legs. And then inhale, lifting the right leg up towards the sky. Get that stretch, reach the toes away. Exhale, coming forward into pigeon, trying to get that shin parallel with the mat. Finding length in the spine, lifting up out of the pelvis with an inhale. 
Then exhaling slowly as you lengthen to lower. Just taking a moment to relax here. Sending gratitude and love to your entire body. And for this opportunity to get to know it a little better. Beautiful, coming up onto your hands. Tuck that back toe, lift up, and bring that right knee to the outside, coming into that half frog, and then lowering down. Just letting all the muscles surrounding this outer hip area relax. Beautiful, inhaling, coming up. Tuck that back toe. You're gonna press the hips up. Let that right leg straighten and sink the heels back, melting your heart and third eye to the ground. Beautiful, coming forward, bring that knee in and switching around onto your butt. Rolling down onto your back, hug the knees into your chest, little rock side to side to massage out through your low back. And then reaching for the outer edges of your feet, letting the knees open and drop down to the floor for a happy baby. If you want a little more of a stretch, you can straighten your legs. Can't do it because there's a wall here, but if you have the space to straighten your legs and want more of a leg and inner thigh stretch, go for it. Beautiful, releasing those feet down to the floor. You're gonna lift up your hips and move them like four inches over to the right, and then let those knees drop over to the left, keeping them stacked on top of each other. So this is a good way to protect your sacrum so that the twist is really going into your mid back here as you look over that right shoulder. Breathing in deeply. And rolling onto your back. Plant the feet, lift the hips up, and switch them over to the left side of the mat. Let the knees fall over to the right. Make sure they're stacked on top of each other. And look over your left shoulder. Just making sure the twist is in our mid spine, our thoracic, rather than our low back. Beautiful, rolling back to the center. Center yourself on the mat, bringing the soles of your feet together and knees falling out to the side, finding length in your spine. Then you're gonna bring your hands to the tops of your thighs, kind of right where your thigh meets your pelvis. And you're gonna press away, like you're trying to press away from the pelvis. Press, press, feeling that lengthening away in the low back. Taking a breath here. Wow, this feels really good. Mm -hmm. And then gently release. All right, from here, you can let your hips stay like this if it feels good to find a little opening or let them extend out, just taking a moment in Shavasana to feel everything that we've just integrated into the practice, feeling it settle into your body. <sighs> See if you can bring your awareness to the edge of your skin, where the atoms of your skin meet the atoms of the air, to the soles of your feet and the palms of your hand. <sighs> Feel the energy flowing in your body. Feel your breath be deep and easeful, reaching 
all corners of your body. Moving out any old stagnant energy and welcoming in that fresh oxygen, that fresh prana. If your mind begins to wander, just bring it back to this moment, back to your body, back to your mat. Feel the support of the earth beneath you. With every exhale, just see where you can soften. Closing your eyes. Beautiful, beginning to wiggle your fingers and toes now. Just feeling the aliveness in your body. Take a big stretch up overhead. Oh, sorry, plant. Reaching long through your fingers and toes, reaching as long as you can. And then exhale, contract, pulling your low back to the ground, drawing elbows and knees together, curling up into a little ball and then rolling onto one side to gently press yourself up to a seated position. Ah, oh, yes, just feeling the difference you might feel from the beginning of class until now. Ah, oh, yes, beautiful, feels so good. Rooting down through your sits bones, growing up tall through the spine. We'll take one last breath together, sweeping the arms up overhead. Exhaling, bringing your thumbs to your third eye center. May we see clearly and trust our intuition. Drawing the thumbs to the lips so that we may speak words of kindness and truth. And finally, drawing the hands to the heart. May we act with love and compassion towards ourselves and others. Thank you for connecting with me today. I hope you feel amazing. I hope you have an amazing class, whatever you're doing today. Sending you all the love. Namaste. Woo, yes, go drink some water, y'all. Mm. Stay hydrated, we'll catch you guys on the next episode. And if you wanna learn more about the fascia, I have an amazing interview on the Dancers Dialogue series with Cynthia Sims, and we go deep onto what the fascia is, why it's so important, all that good stuff. So, all right, catch you next time. <laughs> have a great day.